Hello friends, this is Vinay and you are watching Tech Dude. Today I have got a Zotac 1080 Ti mini graphics card with me and this is going to be the unboxing and overview video of the Zotac 1080 Ti mini graphics card. And I ordered it from the itdepot.com, uh, it's based in Chennai and uh, it took about 10 days to reach me and I got it for around 65,500 rupees. Uh, and I had to pay about 270 rupees for shipping that's extra so uh, let's quickly get started I'll uh, do the quick unboxing for you and then I'll give you a quick overview about this so the packaging looks uh, very safe and nice they have bubble wrapped it inside this big carton so I'll keep it inside and uh, as you can see uh, very nice bubble wrapping to keep it safe during the transit so I'll quickly unwrap it So finally I have got it unwrapped and keep that aside. So here let me give you a quick overview of uh, the packaging. Uh, as the box says it's Zoda GeForce GTX 1080 Ti and uh, it's uh, 11 GB VRAM. Here uh, it's uh, a part number and uh, the SQ code I highlighted, the model number as well. It's a Z, a ZTP 10810G 10P 1080Ti 11GB 352-bit GDDR5X And as I told you, I got it for 65,500 rupees So let's quickly unbox it I'll show you what, what's inside the box Another black box uh, with Zotac apparently. And uh, there is some paperwork, and uh, I guess there is the yeah, paperwork and uh, uh, graphics driver CD as well. So we will keep that to the side. And let's see what's, what's else in the box. So here we have got. Uh, two power cable, uh, 8 pin power cables uh, to connect it to the power supply of your cabinet there is nothing else in the box so let's look at the main unit now the 1080 Ti Zotac Mini so here is how it looks we have two very big blower fans and here we have the Zotac branding GE Force and here you can see uh, this is the place that uh, where you will co be connecting the power supply cable and uh, heat sink pipe and there is a back plate as well since it's got to be a premium uh, model so they have supplied with a black back plate that too with a sort of branding and a good finish now let's look at the uh, connection the display ports so here you have, you have got three display ports if you look at and one HDMI port and one DVI port over here that you would connect and I would also like to highlight that it is VR ready so in future if you are going to have a VR art uh, going to be playing VR games then it can be uh, used for VR gaming it's VR ready now let me also give you a small insight into its uh, technical specifications of this beast uh, graphics card so it's uh, as I already told you, it has 11 GB of GDDR5X VRAM, and its uh, memory bus is 352 bit. Uh, its base clock is 1506 uh, megahertz, and it goes uh, uh, the boost uh, speed is 
1620 megahertz and it's PCI Express 3.0 and uh, it's it has uh, three display ports and one HDMI port a 2.0B and one DVI port it supports quad display that means you can have uh, four displays uh, using simultaneously for a better gaming experience and uh, the, power, the power consumption of this graphics card is 250 watts uh, though the recommended power supply is a uh, minimum of 600 watts and uh, its uh, power input is dual 8 pin uh, power input and it's a dual fan as I already uh, told you and it also supports the SLI uh, bridge so I, I believe that's it for the for this video we'll come back to you uh, on this video maybe an install, a quick installation video in our uh, cabinet so till then hope for best and thank you for watching tech dude please like share and subscribe this video